As I left Castro Jerez, it was before dawn, and this yellow arrow was actually projected onto the wall. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, good morning. So it's day 15, and as you can see, it's really cold outside. It's about uh, high 30s, low 40s, and uh, I'm just leaving Castro Jerez. I had just a marvelous day. Uh, the innkeeper there was a really outgoing lady, spoke no English, but we managed to get uh, get our point across to each other with her pigeon English and my pigeon Spanish. At any rate, uh, I off, I'm off for about a 20 mile hike today and I'm just getting ready to go over this massive, huge hill. I'll show you here, hold on. So yesterday, I thought I was on the Mesetas uh, because uh, someone told me, well, that's where it starts, I was after Burgos. Actually, I'm about to climb this hill and enter onto the Mesetas. So once I'm over this, I think it's going to be flat for quite some time. At any rate, uh, I'll talk to you later and buen camino. The video doesn't do this justice. It was really steep. This guy was going up this steep hill on this hand crank bicycle. I asked if I could take his picture. What a stud. Okay, it's about 20 minutes later, and I made it up that brutal hill. But now, pretty much sure I'm on the Mesetas. Check this out. Awesome. I ran into my five minute friends from Colombia. What nice guys. Only 263 miles to go. Check out the storks nesting on top of the church. I ran into Jessica again after two weeks. We had started on the same day. And this is a fellow from San Diego that I met. Turns out that the rain in Spain does fall on the plane. These are my friends from Canada, Paul and Cynthia. I ran into them quite often on the Camino and actually saw them at the end. My long walk for the day ended in Viarmentero de Campos in Palencia. I stayed in a hotel there. I had a really nice dinner and a much needed rest. This place was very interesting, full of history. I copied this from a pamphlet found in the lobby. It says, located in Viarmentero de Campos, halfway between Formista and Carrián de los Condes, and 37 kilometers away from Palencia, in the heart of Camino de Santiago, La Casona de Dona Pietra is the last new jewel of the country house's wide range in Castilla and Leon. In a rural environment, absolutely thought for the rest, 
in the middle of a Romanic route of Palencia, La Casona used to be an ancient pilgrim's hospital that written and oral documents transmitted generation by generation are known. La Casona de Dona Petra has been built over the thick walls of that hospital with a rectangular base and three floors, two at the beginning. It was built in a traditional handmade way with an amazing ceiling. Remains of Jewish deeds have been discovered inside the house. They were inside a kind of box inside of a wall. It was also discovered a big silo whose antiquity and usefulness in the past are unknown. This silo is in the subfloor in one of the rooms. This pit was in the subfloor and it had it glassed over so you could see down. I tried to take a picture, but it didn't come out. To my surprise, my room actually had five beds, but I was the only one staying there. Time for a good night's rest. Thanks for watching and Buen Camino.